in this part we are uh, finalizing with now the second law of uh, De Morgan's. We call it the De Morgan law of intersection. This is the second law, the second law of De Morgan's, uh, which sometimes we call it uh, the law of intersection. We call it De Morgan's, uh, De Morgan's law of intersection. The first one that we covered was the De Morgan law of union. The first law, the first law was uh, first law was uh, De Morgan. Uh, De Morgan law of e union. In De Morgan law of uh, intersection, uh, we say that uh, a intersection B, their complement is equivalent to a complement union B complement. That is the, the De Morgan second law. Now, let X be a member, or let X belong to A intersection B complement. This means now that uh, X is uh, not a member of a intersection b are you getting now that uh, uh, the first part is that uh, we are seeing that x is an um, element that belongs to that intersection of a and b the complement of that intersection now we, we can say that x is not a member of that intersection because x is a complement of that intersection yeah, and then you find that now x is uh, x is not a member x is not a member of a meaning that now the x is not a, is not a member of a and also a eh, is not a member of a again it's not a member of b meaning that is a is not a member of both the two so we say that uh, is not a member of A or X is not a member of B. Look at this essence whereby we are talking of intersection. For us to have an intersection, it means that the elements in A and B, they should be common in the two sets, that is set A and set B. But now, if you, if the element you have is not a member of that intersection now we say that that x is not a member of a or again the same x is not a member of b and from this now part we get that essence of a, a union and we now say that x is not a member of a, we now say that a x now we say that uh, the element x uh, is a member of a complement or the same element x is a member of b complement and now we say that x uh, is a member of a that uh, that element is found in a and then is also uh, the same element x is a member of b complement and from here now we say that uh, this second law is that now a intersection b complement is the same as a complement union b complement a complement union b complement and that's now what we call this is the second law of De Morgan's second law. Then you have to know that the first law we are talking of union and the second law we are talking of intersection. That is why this part here, this is the intersection. You know, this one shows that A and B these are intersection. That's why we drive that word that uh, uh, the second law we are talking of intersection. 
Then, when you look at the first law, let's just, uh, let's just have a recap. The first law, you'll find that uh, the first law is that uh, yeah, we are talking of uh, A union B into bracket complement equals to uh, it goes to A, uh, A complement intersection B complement. Yeah. So, you know, this, is now, this is now the first law. We are talking of the union law. So, get the difference. Now, without uh, much ado, let's go direct to application, how you can apply the De Morgan's law. And uh, in, in other terms, we are doing what you call, we are proving that uh, uh, the, the second law, we want to prove the second law. That is what we are doing now, proving the second law, the De Morgan's law of intersection. And we just simply call the De Morgan's law, uh, proving the De Morgan's law of intersection. The Morgan law of intersection. Now, uh, without much, without uh, wasting time, let's just go direct to the point, and we find that uh, in the Morgan's law, uh, let's prove by uh, using a, a set. Let's say, uh, let's say, a set, uh, a set comprises of a universal set. We have a set A, and then we have set B. Then let's see the elements here. Then uh, in the first. Uh, in the universal set, let's say in the in our universal set, our universal set has the following members. That is uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, we have 17, uh, we have 18, we have 19, we have 20. These are the members of the universal set. Then the set A comprises of uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. These are the members of set A. Then the set B comprises of 11, 14, 16, and 17. So we want to prove that uh, whether the law is uh, will, uh, will confirm what De Morgan's proved. Uh, then uh, let's prove now here. We find that uh, in this De Morgan's law, we are seeing that uh, uh, A. Mm, the cause the intersection intersection B a complement is the same as a complement union B complements the De Morgan's second law. So here, let's confirm here. We see uh, cause uh, a comp a and B. First of all, let's work on this. This is an intersection between A and B. So how, how can we find the intersection between A and B? We are looking for the elements that. We're only looking for the elements that are common in both A and B. And you have seen and you have seen that uh, our elements in A that are common in B, in 12 is not there, they were looking for an element. We are seeing uh, we are getting it's 14 is common. We are getting that the 14 here, and then we have another 14 here. Then I think uh, we are only getting 14 as uh, the common elements. Yeah, I think uh, you, are, you are seeing it clearly so that uh, you get uh, the concept very well. So yeah, you're seeing A and B, uh, the common elements here are 14. The common elements here are 14 between A and B. So you'll find that it's only one element, uh, which is uh, 14, that is common. Uh, and then now, uh, we are talking of a uh, what are we talking of complement of that 14 then uh, we will find that uh, the complement of uh, that uh, 14 will be now the complement is only the 14 that is found in the universal set so we'll find that the remaining all other elements are the complement of the 14 and the 14 is the intersection between a and b so it will be 11 12 13 15 we are not taking 14 because uh, it's a member of that uh, intersection then we get 16 17 18 18 18 19 20 so these are the complement of that now we have to prove that if this part can also yield this one and then we shall have proven the De Morgan's law of intersection then now the second part here this is the left hand side the left hand side then I take with the right hand side so we find that I a intersection a, a complement union b complement yeah it is an a complement union b complement so let's confirm 
and then uh, it is better just we put here what is a complement a complement a complement these are the elements that are not in a but they are found in the universal set so we're seeing 12 uh, 12 we won't pick it 13 we won't pick it 14 we won't pick it 15 we won't pick it so the remaining elements are 11 then from here 12 13 14 up 15 they are in a so they are not there we are now we are taking the complements the elements that are not present in set a then 12 but they are in universal set then you get 16 17 you find that it's 18 19 20 these are the elements of uh, a complement then we, let's confirm again b complement elements that are in b but uh uh, elements that are in universal set but are not in B. Uh, then uh, you find that uh, you see that uh, these are uh, we have the 11 is present here. And uh, let me use a uh, different pen so I can, I can see clearly. We have 11, then we have 14, then we have 16, and then 17. So the remaining elements, those are what we call now the B complement, and those are the, uh, the 12, 13 then we jump to 15 uh, then 18 9 18 to go 18 19 and then we have 20 then we have 20 18, 19 and then we have 20 so uh, that is uh, now uh, well, let's now confirm the union now between uh, the a uh, a complement and B complement, the union. Now, and in the union, we say that you take all the elements in both sets, and that just directly you'll find that it is 11, then we get it is 12. Uh -huh. When we have, uh, uh, we don't have 14, uh, we have uh, 13, then we jump to 15, then we jump to 16, then we jump to 17, then 18, then 19 then 20 uh, this is the outcome of uh, you combining these two you'll find that uh, that's what you'll get and this now shows that now the elements are the same and this shows now that uh, the left hand side is equivalent to the right hand side now then we say that now a intersection b uh, complement is the same as a complement union B complement and we find that now that is 11 12 13 15 16 17 18 19 20 these elements they are equal or equivalent to the other elements which is it's 11 12 13 15 16 16 17 18 19 20 so these are proof that now the left hand side equals the right hand side and we have proven the de morgan's law of intersection in other terms the second law of de morgan's thank you